This is Skid Row, one of the most dangerous places in Los Angeles, and definitely one of the most sketchy places I've ever been to. The eerie feeling you get when you walk around here at nighttime is something unexplainable, and we're going to show you how Skid Row is at nighttime. But first, we're going to go around to some of the locals and ask if they think it's dangerous. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Uh, yeah. People are f***ing crazy, so yeah. I think all downtown area is dangerous. That stuff goes on, I, I guess you can say. It can be, yeah. Why's that? It's a lot of bad shit out there, bro. A lot of drugs. Would you recommend me walking through there by myself at nighttime? No, don't do it. No? No, don't. Why not? You might get hurt. So what kind of shit goes on there? I have no idea, but one of my friends got his car impounded there at one point, and we tried to go there, and we luckily just got out of there in time because they were kind of approaching us. Really? Oh yeah. my god, this guy's about to get hit by a car. He's not even watching. Sir! Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Skid Row? Yeah. Not dangerous? Yeah. Just, just an average morning? A winter soldier, pyramid destroyer. Well, you have fun in the middle of the street. He's literally standing in the middle of the street, in the middle of the intersection. Bro, this guy doesn't give a f Look at the cars coming by. Hey, be careful, bro, you're gonna get hit. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Honestly, hell yeah, bro. If you, if you, yeah. Why? It's outside. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Yes and no. I would say that they're dangerous people because some people are just not right. But I wouldn't say there's all dangerous people. I walked down there a couple times. You have? Would you recommend me walking through there by myself at nighttime? Nah. Why not? That's just not a good idea. You know, the shady people come out the nighttime and that ain't smart, even by this dark. You know, it's crazy people in downtown. I ain't gonna cap. So I definitely shouldn't go there at like midnight? No. I don't think that's a safe idea. Do you guys think Skid Row is dangerous? Yeah. Why? Because it's dangerous. What's so dangerous about it? Because it's Skid Row. Like what happens there? Skid Row. Skid Row happens there? Skid Row. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Uh, sometimes in the night. At the nighttime? Uh, sometimes. Daytime is it's okay. What if I went there at nighttime by myself? Nighttime is dangerous. After nine o'clock, it's, it's dangerous. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Not really. You know what's dangerous? What? Us and the government. <laughs> I've been in some shit. A couple times there. they do steal and shit. I've seen them. They even for me. Unless I start sh too with people, like it's my fault sometimes. You do start. Sh yeah, so I have a big mouth. I'm drunk. You up like that too. Cause <laughs> it's LA, so I'm, I, I, I have an attitude also. Cause you get drunk and you're doing something, and I'm, I'm a rapper. So I'm like, whoa, DJ. I, I really like that. So it's like, you're a rapper. Yeah, I'm a rapper. Can you freestyle? We're dangerous in the mic. Then take the gigabyte away at the. Uh, night time, like, and they say, don't, stu don't study me, cause I'm f***ing like gutting the f***ing MC through the gutter. Get your big bitch a cutter, or to Jack the Ripper, you slut her. One more question, are you dangerous? Give me a gun. Or a woman. <laughs> Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Relatively speaking, depending like what parts, like, I, I mean, it's gotten definitely a lot worse the last couple of years, like the housing crisis and like how expensive it is in the city. You're also seeing like an over influx of people like in hospitals, so like the hospitals get overwhelmed and they can only hold so many people, so what happens when they let them out? They just out in the street. You don't know yeah. who you're dealing with. Yeah, it has gotten a little bit more dangerous in the last couple of years, I would say. Yeah. In what way? Just there's more of them? There's Or the actual crime? There's more of them, but I want to say a majority of them keep to themselves it's just like those weirdos like those crazy crazy ones you really need to be careful about yeah. like that whole like bus driver that got attacked that whole stabbing on the train Wait, I'm what like, was that oh the bus driver got attacked recently what would you do to fix any situations if you could invest in more affordable housing men mental health resources more affordable care of course that's much bigger than an individual person that is the result of like people mobilizing coming together and like making sure like those, that community has what they need to like get out of that situation have you ever been through there yourself once got mugged just yeah through. you got mugged there uh once yeah I was, I was me in high school i was a dumbass i was just walking around with my brand new iphone like yeah. and then this guy just pulls out a knife and is like hey give me your phone are like, you serious yeah and i mind you i was like a kid so i was yeah. like i'm not you know what I, I could get a new phone but i can't get a new life so how many uh, years ago was that eight years ago nine wow. years ago yeah would you recommend me walking through there by myself at nighttime um at nighttime Careful. <laughs> Careful. But I mean, you have a couple hours till nightfall, so yeah. yeah. We're definitely gonna wait until like close to midnight during like the most dangerous hours. <laughs> okay. That's our goal. That's a uh, who. Check check the news tomorrow. Make sure that nobody got stabbed in uh, yeah. Skid Row. <laughs> Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Yeah. Why? Mostly because of drugs. So like I'll just get pinned with drugs if I go through there? Yeah. You ever go through there? Yeah, I'm going right now. <laughs> oh, you are? You going right now? Yeah. Do you live around there? No, I'm fancy. They finna move me over there. What's the crazy shit you ever seen around there? Two people dying off and all at the same time overdose like people trying to save them 
it's like do or die. I ain't gotta be killed like tip toe down here. Cause I see so much stuff. I could do the same thing. I'll make a documentary just every day. Yeah. Like damn, there's so much stuff going on here every day. Like I, I just, do, bro. Could like, I every twenty minutes, like just from here to. Could I iPhone record it and post it on YouTube? Yeah, I mean, bro. dead ass. Like, who, who does that that lives in Skid Row? Get a phone, record cr crazy clips of what happened, and upload it to YouTube. Day by day, yeah. You never know, bro. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? No. no this is my area. Like, actual Skid Row. No, like no, I know what you're it. talking about. Yeah. And the answer's still no. Okay. Yeah, that, that's also part of my area. I mean, I've just heard, like, from stories, but you know how that be. They could lie, that's right? That's the way it is. So that's um, what I'm trying to figure out for myself. Yeah. Dude, if you really want to know for yourself, uh -huh. go down there. And that's exactly what we did. But first, I wanted to go during the day just to see how it is. I mean, so far during the day, like, I don't really feel super sketched out walking around here. I don't really feel like anything, anybody's gonna, like, come up to me. Guy has a crack pipe in his, in his mouth right now. Better blur that out. How you feeling, bro? Feeling good? I bet. Casually just laying on the side of the road with a crack pipe. Mind if I ask you a question? I was just wondering how you stay so shredded. I'm trying to get like you. Well, I pull buggies. I uh, scrap metal. I exert myself. Up heels, down heels. I use it as a, as a uh, workout, actually, to uh, stay fit. Well, you look great, bro. I do, do push-ups. 59 years old. 59? You look f***ing great. Thank you, oh, you lean as Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank man. You. Have a good one. Anybody ever tell you that you look like Snoop Dogg? All the time. Just For real? <laughs> Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Skid Row? Well, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Nice. You like it? Yeah. What do you like about it? I don't know. Uh, it's better. Chill. I like it. Yeah, chill. Yeah, it seems chill. Everybody seems chill today. Hey, do you think Skid Row is dangerous? I don't like the camera right now. Oh, sorry about I that. Can, my fancy, bro. can I ask you a question? Skid Row what? Dangerous? Mm, nah. It's chill? Yeah. All right. Although it seemed pretty chill during the day, let's see if that changes at nighttime. What's up, bro? Cops are arresting people. They're arresting people? They just coming up, pulling up, arresting people? Nah, you just recording people? Like... We're doing a YouTube video. Do you want Jesus or do you want God? Do I want God? What do you mean? He got maced? I don't want Yeah, he definitely got maced. Hey, stop it right there. What happened? Huh? What's your name? <laughs> What's her name? Huh? Doing what? We're just filming. Don't film me. Oh, we're not filming you. We don't. Prankster, mother. Prankster? I'm not doing pranks. A devilish smile. What type of shit happens out here? Yeah. I ain't gonna cover up. I'm gonna say this. We didn't came from the bottom, and we still at the bottom, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. like, Skid Row ain't just what they said is, like, bums this and bums that. Some of these people, this they habitat. You feel me? Some people just passing through, doing their thing. Mm -hmm. But see, me, I stand right here. I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. And mm -hmm. so much, I need some of that tech. Yeah, you gotta keep it real, because guess what? They ain't gonna, this tech, this ain't no Skid Row. Not that, yeah. What is this? <laughs> Come on, see, we do it. Enough. They be taxing out here, bro. Here, super, take this back. No, I'm gonna keep smoke it, smoke road, it. But I ain't like that. Damn, damn, bro, bizarre. I did. That's like so sad, bro. Like, just because right? you're scared, wrong, I ain't no bum ass bitch like that, though. I'm just saying that bum right there. Why is that bum? It's just offering you a blunt. Get the from me. All right. So it's like. Oh. You alright, bro? Oh. Did you get maced? I maced. Who the f maced you? Oh. I got some pee lady. Who? Oh. The cops? Hey, the ambulance is right there, bro. Oh. Bro, they might have something. They might have something over there. Uh, all pressing parts, but get back to me. This shit is f***ing real out here, bro. I've honestly never seen anything like this in my life. Oh, look at that fire. Zoom in. We're the fire department. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fireman! Damn, bro, this is plastic. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to breathe this shit in. God damn. Yeah, f*** that. They're literally burning straight plastic. This is plastic, bro. Stop breathing it. Is she trying to put it out or is she trying to make it bigger? I can't tell. She's like, put it out and then throws more stuff in it. I don't know, bro. The straight plastic. I'm getting the f*** from that. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. It's just like... Are you shook? It's like sad, bro. I mean, what the f*** you expect, bro? Some of those people are young as f***. The guy, whatever, who got maced. Bro, he looks young as f***. He's like younger than us. You asked me to take you to the dirtiest part of LA. I knew it was Zombie bad, Land, but... Bro. Welcome to Zombieland. You remember the movie Zombieland 1 and 2? Yeah. This is the 3. Nice right. to meet you, bro. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. My hand. Yeah. Oh, sh**. Damn, bro. You good? You, drop your bike. you, good? you, you got it? Man. Ride that on one wheel, possibly. You can do it? Yeah. You can ride that on one wheel. I'm sure I can. Five dollars says you can. Me too. I'll match it. Are you serious? Yeah, dead ass, bro. I'm putting you right here in my hand, bro. Bro, the chain's not even on it. Here. <laughs> the chain's not even on the bike, bro. Is this mine? Yeah, yeah. you bro. Have a good night, my boy. Are you serious? Yeah. I was there. Because the chain's not even on the bike, so you can't do it. There's no way. Tool. You're from California? Yeah. I'm from Florida. You know them, all them articles you be hearing on the news, Florida man does this, Florida man does that, some wild. I'd be like catching alligators and shit. 
for for a living. Really? Yeah. Alligator man, you the one that you no, know, it was a big big one. Yeah, the big alligators, it was, big I ass seen, one. I seen it like Eight a foot, days ago. ten foot. Yeah, yeah. And it was, I can't smoke. You had it in your hand. Your yep. And you was trying to cover the mouth or some shit. Yep. All right, you do that. Shit. Hell yeah. You get paid for that? Of course. Can I get a job, man? You trying to catch some alligators? Man, I'll Are be you your assistant. You, you think you can catch an alligator? I mean, I don't know if I'm catching an alligator. I might can shoot that motherfucker. No, nah, we don't shoot him. We just catch because we got to catch him and, you know, like put him somewhere else. Do they try to kill you or hurt you? It could. Yeah. It usually doesn't, you know. You, like, you have I to just. I can help you, man. How much you pay me? I can help you. For alligator catching, it depends. It depends on how big the alligator is and stuff like that. Give or take what? It goes based off of the foot. So if it's like, if it's like a four foot alligator, I get paid like around like three grand a six foot alligator i get paid like five grand all know? right so i help you i swear to god all right bet hit me my up number in. Three, five bands, and I hell hog try that let's, like Mike Tyson. let's see the form then the let's form? see because you got to get ready you, you got to be able to get on top of it and Man, like grab I the do, neck i do some like this. shit like this and be having my hands out and, you, and, you, and you'll grab the mouth you got to grab the yeah. mouth and tape that yeah, yeah. i'll help your ass hell yeah teach Sounds me good. teach me okay. what's her name Tanner. Tanner? Man, yeah. my name's General, man. Hit me up. Right. Hell yeah, I help you help alligators, man. All right, sounds good. What's it like having a shop on Skid Row, bro? Well, to be honest with you, having a shop on Skid Row, it's a hassle. Because you have to deal with the mental illness, to deal with people that comes in. Yeah. Prime example. It's all about respect, and I pretty much got that here. So they know what will happen to them if they was to come in here and trip in. I do carry pepper spray. I do carry stuff that I can't carry. Has it ever had to gone, come down to that? Yes. But yes. Yeah? Plenty of times. Plenty of times? Recently, like, we had a lady come in here butt-ass naked. To be honest, it's just sad, though. Man. There's a lot of people down there that need help. They don't give a f about them, you know? You literally gotta be in your deathbed or unhumane, eating out the trash and in your own sh Pits for them to help. You got the munchies, bro? Working, okay? Super working. Bro, walking around yeah. getting the munchies. I got you. Appreciate it, bro. What, what happened? Because uh, we don't have EBT right now. Oh, for real? Shit, how much is it? I'll get him. Yo, bro. I got you, bro. He gonna uh, look out for you, man. People that put up things in the hotel and show stop and hurt people like Tony and them knowing that. Ooh, you know? that meat in the building. That is. So. Don't put me on camera, huh? Can I get a neck and red meat in the building? Red meat. What is that? Me? Why? Medium Cause I'm, rare. Because I'm a ginger? Because you're white. <laughs> yeah.